Hey everyone, so where we left off is uh, we have the circle here that we have in uh, in 3D space and I'm going to show you how to factor in these X, Y, and Z's. It's really quite simple. Um, you just add these values in. Well, now what we can do with this is uh, we can define a cylinder with with uh, with two circles and and a height or in our case a length because as um, as I'm laying mines down sideways. What we can do now is say let's do function cylinder let's do actually no let's not jump to earth i want to call mine width because i don't want to confuse the length with with, with the length of an array so for width, let's call it let's pick an easy let's pick an even number. Which means our left circle, so assuming that our cylinder is centered at the origin, is we're gonna we're gonna need cylinder at negative width over three, two rather. Uh, so at y zero z zero, then let's let's make a radius of four, and let's make the number of points. We can still use eight. In this case, we're going to print the points at see so x, y, and z. It went like that, and this other point is going to be almost the same thing, only that this time it's going to be to the right. In this case, uh, we can we can really just take a duplicate of this. Actually, no, not yet. Just a quick way to do this. I want to find the positive side first. So for so for each x in in a cylinder, I want to move it over. I move it over to the right. So what this means for the for the left side is we just need to attack on a negative once we duplicate it. All right, so what it looks like when, when we rotate it on the, the y-axis, we should see it rotating around this point. Yep, 
He's going to see it is. I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, it looks like there's no duplicate button on here. So in this case, I want to have to I'll have to cut it so I, I won't have to watch all this. So I'll, I'll see you in a sec. All right, so I've got all the points copied over. And uh, as you can see here, so we can still rotate around. Oh, I can catch it. There we go. They're both rotating around the origin. Right, uh, as you can see here, that um, that right now we it would connect the points, but the reason I haven't done that yet is because of what I plan to do next with it. If you want to connect the points, points uh, you can right now if you want to. Uh, so what you would do is is uh, assuming that you've copied all the points correctly, uh, you you would pair. Pair each, you pair, say, the first row of your first table with the first row of your second table. What I mean by that is, is this here would be your, your first endpoint of your line, and this here will, would be your second endpoint of, of your line. <clears throat> and you would do the same thing for each of them. So, it, so let's do one or two of them. And in this case, we don't have a reason for points. Well, we would, let's add, add one over here so you can see it. So this one, so our first one would be So this is the one on, on the right side. Uh, order doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent. And your second point would be the one on the left. Let's edit this. Right, and for And, and yeah, this would be basically how you would how you would do it for each one. So if you want to see one more, uh, what you would do is you would have to add another table. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Uh, not not because that it's a lot of work. Is because is is because of what I plan to do next with uh, with this one here. So what I want to do next is I want to put a Blender equivalent of, here, let's show you how to do this one first. All right, so this will be the same thing. This is the, this is the second row of each table. See, see, this time I'm starting from from the left side, but as as long as I end on the opposite side, it's not going to be a problem. All right, so now we can actually see this thing rotate along along the x-axis. Let's find the x-axis here. So you see that 
You see it's rotating. All right, so what I plan to do next is putting a Blender equivalent of, of, a, uh, of a loop cut. And what, I, what I mean by that is, all right, let's get rid of this, these two. So what I mean by that is, is I want to be putting another another circle, another 3D circle in this origin point here. Uh, as I see that I'm going along right now, uh, I want to save that for the next video, but uh, hey, at least you know how to connect the points. If 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 you want a cylinder, this is this is uh, what you would do to connect the points is is what is what the is what the tables I just deleted. You know, let's bring them back. All right. So um yeah, next video, uh, I want to show you how to, how to cut this in half, and then um, and then we'll also shrink these two these two sides down, so so you start to see see it look look more more like more like a wheel. All right, so I'm looking forward to that. Hope you are too. I'll see you next video.